Power Sales Training. Coming at you with another video. It's my number third. Special shout out to my friends there on the YouTubes. Today, I got a fan letter. Got it right here. Comes from a guy named Tim T. Tim T writes from a place called uh, Pewaukee, which is in Wisconsin. And Timmy writes, Dick, I'm 25 years old. I'm new to the sales game. What kind of advice can you give me to be a better salesman? Timmy, I got a lot of advice for you. Starting with, if you're anything like the rest of the 20-something year olds, you're dressing like you're going to go off to an amusement park. You've got to spend more time on your personal appearance. Customers buying you, Timmy. He's not going to buy you if you look like you work or are visiting an amusement park. All right? So here's what I want you to do. Multiple times during the day, I want you to take a break. But I don't want you going outside. I want you to go to the men's room. And when you're in the men's room, I want you to stare at yourself in the mirror. Start at your head and go all the way down to your shoes. And I want you to look for anything that's not in order. If your hair's out of place, get yourself a product that keeps your hair in place even in a high wind. Look at the rest of you. Do you have on good clothes? Are they in good order? Right? Is everything else good to go? And here's the thing, Tim. I don't want you to panic if you don't have the whole package. Okay? What am I talking about? I'm talking about, well, if you're not tall, if you don't have dark hair, Okay? If you, uh, if you don't have an athletic build, right? In short, if you're not an alfalfa male, you don't have to panic. There's still hope for you, but it means you've got to pay more attention, okay? So these frequent trips to the men's room take on a greater importance. You understand? Okay. So, the next thing that I want you to pay attention to, and this is where a lot of guys just completely go off the rails, is you got to look for the stains. You got any stains on the clothes, Timmy? You can't go. You just can't. It's going to shoot the deal right down if you got a salami stain on your pants. Nobody buys from a guy with a giant salami stain on his pants. Okay, and the next thing is the smell. How are you smelling? Okay? A big piece of this, a big part of it, is cologne. Men's cologne. Not just anything. Not just like the cheap stuff. There's only two colognes that are going to work for you. One is the Axe, and the other one is the Polo. Why? Because they smell good. And if you put enough on to me, when you leave the guy's office, or even better, the girl, it leaves some of the smell behind. And so they're reminded of you. They're reminded of, you know, you, how successful you are. Stick with me, Timmy. Stick with me, the rest of you newbies, and stick with me, the rest of you salespeople, and make millions with powers. Rock on, baby. Rock on. You don't know sales until you know dick.